Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we are at, not at the park, we're actually at my house. And I'm sure by the title and thumbnail, you guys can guess that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my experience at Club 33. This is a story that I've never really told on camera or anything like that. Like I've mentioned some things here and there like on a live stream or I've told people like word of mouth, whatever, but uh, I haven't really like done a video on this. So I wanna tell you guys my experience about going to Club 33. I've only been one time and I went on New Year's Eve 2021. So it was going to become 2022 the next day. So uh, this is actually a cool story. Like I, I had no idea that I was going to be going to Club 33 the day I went. Um, so I had I went to the park, right? Went to Disneyland. I filmed the Q&A video, I believe. And then I was uh, I was about to leave. I was like in a hurry. I'm like, got to hurry up. It's, it's New Year's Eve. Got to go, you know, do the family thing. And then I get a phone call. And it's uh, my friends from Park Hopping Duo. And they were uh, also going to be going with uh bobby which you guys know her better as hula mama so thanks to those three people that was the reason why i was able to even go but uh i know it's a lot of people's dream to go uh it wasn't really mine like i was kind of like oh, i don't think i'll ever go so it's never gonna happen but it happened and i will say i had a very interesting time there i guess you can say um i'm gonna have to keep looking at my phone so that way i can show you guys or, or talk about the photos i'm gonna show you guys kind of like to, to describe like how it is when you walk in because a lot of people have never been there so i'm sure you guys are curious uh, i know i would be if i've never been there before but uh uh, let me pull up the photos real quick. Uh, I'll put them on the screen and I'm just gonna be looking up and down and you guys can yeah But um, the first photo I'm gonna show you guys is me ringing the famous Club 33 doorbell <laughs> uh, I'm sure you guys have passed by this many times. It's like right next to uh, It's like basically across from the the train station there in New Orleans Square It's not too far from there and so yeah, so that's a photo of me. My camera's on the side like always, and then I'm pushing the doorbell, which was kind of cool. Um, I know a lot of people do it, but I was actually able to ring the doorbell and go inside, <laughs> which was it was kind of cool. Um, then uh, they have a, they have this book, which I'm gonna put that on the screen now. They have this book which you sign, and I was actually the first signature on that page. So I, I, from what they told us, they keep a record of everybody who's been there. So you sign this book or whatever, and then it goes into the record. So. My name is on there, and as you can see, my little horrible signature is there, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then we got to see uh, Walt Disney's wife's piano, which that's also on the screen now. And um, now, I'm sure most, you know, obviously Club 33 is known for, like, you know, drinks and food and stuff like that and, and all that. And uh, I'm a very picky eater, so a place like Club 33 is definitely not for me, and I didn't realize that at the time. I, I was like, oh, they'll probably have, like, cheeseburgers or something. I was definitely wrong. Uh, I didn't... <laughs> I made a mistake. I didn't take a photo of the menu for like, like the three course adult menu. If anything, I took a picture of the children's menu because that's the menu I ate off of. And I actually have the menu here. I actually took the menu home with me. So I have a picture of it. So I'll put it up on the screen. But basically the first course was farmhouse tomato soup, mini grilled cheese sandwich. That was the first course. Second course was uh, mouse ear or a shietta pasta, marinara, or cheese sauce, or roasted chicken breast, green beans, and french fries. I went with the pasta. And then for dessert, we got a brickie, ice cream, sundae, chocolate sauce, vanilla, uh, chantilly. Sorry, see, I don't even know these words. Uh, <laughs> and then um, they also have a list of drinks, but I ended up getting drinks off of the adult menu, but I ate off of the kids' menu. And as you guys saw from the photos, the food was, was obviously for kids, it was a kid's portion because it was off the kid's menu, but it was really good. It was probably the best three-course kid's meal I've ever had. But uh, I think they were having, like, I don't know, like, the options for, like, I can't even remember, but it was something that I would never in my life eat, and as a picky eater, I was like, no. So I was, I was a little nervous when I was there. I was, like, kind of intimidated because I'm like, man, like, uh, am I just going to sit here while everybody else eats and drinks? So luckily, uh, they weren't at first okay with me eating off of the kids' menu, but then uh, thanks to Hula Mama, she, I don't know how, but she was able to talk them into it, and they let me order off of that. Uh, she's also the reason why I took this menu home. Uh, although, here's the back of the menu, by the way. It's really cool. It says it's got the 33. It's got the castle on the top. Uh, she's like, oh, it was right before we're about to leave. And she's like, you're not going to take your menu? And I was like, you can do that? She's like, I'm going to. <laughs> or whatever it was. So I took a menu. And then uh, I did take a few other things. Nothing bad. I didn't, like, walk out with furniture or anything like that. But uh, I did take a napkin from the bathroom. This thing is, like, yeah, about two years old now. Almost. See? It's got the 33 logo on there, which is pretty cool. And it's just a napkin. Never used it. It's just been in, like, basically storage this whole time. And the same with the menu. Um, I've had it in the 
the merch bag for this whole time. Now, I didn't buy a bunch of merch. Uh, it wasn't, a lot of the stuff wasn't like crazy, crazy expensive or like way more than like normal, like Disney merch, but some of it was kind of pricey. Like I bought two little items and it was like almost 40 bucks. And I even have the receipt for that as well. It's somewhere around here. Here it is. Yeah, see, got the receipt still. And I bought a, which I'll show you guys later, but I bought a, a Club 33 keychain and I believe a pin or something like that. And the pin was $18 and the keychain was 15. So I ended up spending like 35, 56. Uh, I don't even, yeah, I don't think we were able to use our, our discount or anything, but anyways, yeah. So I got two things, but uh, it, it's beautiful when you walk in though, for sure. When you walk in, uh, Club 3, like after you ring the doorbell and they, they let you into the first room, um, you know, the first room's nothing, it's kind of tiny, and then it's just, like, basically to get to the next room, which will have that, that big, like, staircase that everybody takes photos in front of. We were celebrating 2022, so I had the 2022 stash on, stash on one of the uh, the statues that they had there, so that was kind of cool. And then we took, you know, the typical photos on the stairs, which was nice. And uh, and then we went inside, we, we looked around, because you go upstairs, and then there's, like, a little, like, waiting room where, you know, where basically you wait to be seated. And so we're, and then like, as soon as you walk into that room though, the, onto the right, there's like, they have all the Club 33 merchandise. They have like the lounge white bags. The, I think they had a Dooney and Burke bag. They had keychains. They had just a bunch of different merch for Club 33 at the time. I think it's changed now because now, like, I think they had a different merch line, but at the time they had, you know, different things. I, I didn't take a photo of it. I should have, but I wasn't really thinking. Uh, and another reason why I didn't, you know, you, uh, like I don't have any footage from that night or from that day, sorry, is because the, you don't allow you to film there. You can only take photos. So I took as many photos as I could. And then years later, decided to make this video. But um, yeah, like the plates were nice. They had Club 33 on it. The food was was good. It was pretty good for what I ate. Uh, was like I said, it was off the kids menu, but it was really good. Um, so after we ate and all that, we had a good time. Um, I ended up I went to the restroom, which is where I stole the napkin. <laughs> and then well, I don't want to use the word stole. I borrowed for a long period of time. And then they also had mouthwash. Look, they just have this in the restroom. And uh, I'm sure like many people who go there, they, they usually take one. Uh, it's, it looks like it's glass, but it's plastic, but still pretty cool, Club 33 mouthwash. And then let me show you guys what I got. Uh, I, I haven't really, op like I haven't opened this since like then. Like I bought these two things, even the, the tissue paper, I don't know if it'll come up on camera, but even on the tissue paper, it's got the 33 logo on there, which, it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, but it's on there. It's pretty cool. So let me take that out. So here is the pin. Look, looks like you're about to, you know, ask somebody to marry you, but look, it's a pin. It says Club 33 on there, which is cool. And then on the inside too. And then I got this keychain. See, Club 33 keychain. Still in its original wrapper, and it even has a price tag on it still. It's 15 bucks. And then, yeah, I don't think this has the price on there anymore, but yeah, so this, so like, this is probably one of the, you know, the coolest pins I do own, I guess you can say, because, you know, it's from Club 33. But I go pin trade it, I'm just kidding, <laughs> imagine. But yeah, like overall my experience was, was it was a little different than most people because I'm sure most people don't have a, a picky eating problem like I do, but I'm, I'm just a very picky eater, which sucks. But like it, it was, it was a good time. It was, it was cool to experience something that most people don't get to, or like me, probably only gets experience once in a lifetime. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that like you know it was cool, but like if you're a picky eater, maybe don't go <laughs> uh, because. Uh, I don't know, like the food there is just very uh, extravagant, I guess you can say. It's very fancy. And I was really not dressed for the part. I dressed like how I normally dress at Club 33 and everybody else there was like, you know, very well dressed. So I definitely felt out of place. Uh, I felt like Jack on the Titanic when he when he eats with like all the rich people. That's how I felt. <laughs> but, um, except I wasn't dressed as nice as he was. But um, yeah, that's basically it. I had a good experience for the most part. Uh, I'm not sure if they will allow you to eat off the kids menu like they did with me. Uh, I don't think they sh they're supposed to, but for some, some reason or somehow Hula Mom was able to make it happen and I ate off the kids menu, which I think is a hilarious story. So like that, that's one thing I did get out of that is a hilarious story. Like, Oh, how was club 33? It was great. I ate off the kids menu. <laughs> it's like, how many people really get to like say that, you know? 
So, yeah, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys. And, um, yeah, uh, if you guys ever get a chance to go to Club 33 and you're picky, you're a picky eater or whatever, ask to eat off the kids' menu because they have some pretty good stuff. Like that, that tomato soup with grilled cheese was pretty good. Uh, I don't remember how much it was. Oh, it's over here. It says uh, the three-course meal is $45, but I believe they charged me for the adult menu, which was like 100 and something bucks. And then I did get two drinks, so I did raise it up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, see, it even says it on the menu. It says reserved for guests age nine and under. So they definitely bent the rules a little bit for me um, by doing that. And they were probably like, this guy's picky, like, you know, like, the, probably, you know, the big guy at the table and, like, ate off the kid's menu. But, I mean, anyways, I thought it was funny. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, and hopefully you guys get to go and experience Club 33 one day. I know a lot of people would love to do it. I know it's on their bucket list. Uh, it definitely wasn't really on mine, but it was a cool, like, random thing that happened. But anyways, uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.